So today we've decided to go do an alpaca walking tour. I don't think I've ever been close to an alpaca before in my life. I wouldn't say I'm kind of freaked out, but I don't know what to expect. I've heard so many different things about them, about how they spit on you, or about how they could be, you know, I don't know, they're, they're a wild animal, right? Maybe not. But they live on a farm, and we're going to be going to Gern, Denmark. We're in Midtjylland, where we live, not very far away from our house. And yeah, we're gonna do this as a family. And uh, fingers crossed that it all goes well. It's minus 12 degrees Celsius outside right now. It's a chilly day. So uh, come along and let's go check out what happens when you go walk alpacas. When we arrived at the park, we saw the three alpacas that we were going to be doing our walking tour with that day. We were a group of four. We were with uh, another family with some friends. So we were a total of nine with the two caregivers. The three alpacas were really different from each other, but they were all very sweet. The youngest one was the tan alpaca. Her name was Mariah. She was a year and a half old. She was probably the most unsure of the guests that were there compared to the other two, but she was quite a gentle animal. The black one, her name was Minnie, and she's the oldest of the three, born in 2009. And I'd have to say she was actually the calmest one of the three. Then there was Adrian, the white alpaca. He was three years old and the only boy of the three, and he pretty much did whatever he wanted and was pretty comfortable with all the people around him. He would be anybody's best friend if they had a carrot or maybe some animal food to give to him. I loved their fur. It was just so fluffy. I don't know what I expected when I first was thinking about an alpaca, but they were really much like dogs in a way with how friendly they were around us. But their fur was like nothing I'd ever seen before. They were just so soft and fluffy. Before we actually started our walk, it was really important that we got to know the animals. And we did that by feeding them. So everybody shared some carrots that the handlers had given out. And we were feeding the animals to get to know them before the walk. Once the walk started, the handler allowed people, if they wanted to, to take the rope attached. My son took one right away. He was very interested in getting involved and he really liked the experience. For me, I really just enjoyed watching the whole thing. He's not one to be around animals that often we don't have any pets at home but he really enjoyed being around the alpacas and I have to say they're very easy with children who aren't used to animals. I love though how we would take our walk. We had a large enough path for us all to fit, but the alpacas always wanted to walk right next to each other, which made it a little interesting with regards to the ropes and where people should stand or should walk next to the alpacas because they really just wanted to walk with each other. But it all worked out in the end and it was really such a, a nice day.
it was really such a peaceful time and to know that a child could walk along with one of these alpacas and feel completely comfortable and be able to handle the animal was a really nice thing for us. There were occasional times when they would take a break. We generally take a lot of walks in the forest and it was nice for us to have something different to do in the forest because we don't have any pets and it also just allows us to get to know a different kind of animal, one that we normally wouldn't be able to get a lot of exposure to. Not far before our walk ended, we took a little break to give the alpacas a nice treat. We still had some carrots left over and one of the handlers had some feed in his pocket and he was letting the children use that to feed the animals. Then it was time for us to say our goodbyes. Mm -hmm. I have to say though that my son really enjoyed being around these animals and it was so great that the handlers allowed him to feed them whenever he wanted.